Why hello there everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you all my setup for recording off my screen. As you can see here, I've got my PS3 running down there. Little PS3. Yes, I'm waving at you. And I'm just going to apologize for the crap lighting in my room now because as you can see up there, there's no light. Why? Because I had a dodgy light in there and I'm too lazy to replace it. So, what I have over here is my setup for recording. Now, I'm going to warn you all now, this is not an instructional video for recording. This is simply a video for my setup because the setup I have is pretty outdated and I'm not actually going to bother showing you how I set it up. I'm just showing you what it actually is. Um, so if you're going to record screens, if you want to know how or what to use to record your screen, uh, I recommend that you just search in Google or YouTube recording screen and I personally recommend a thing made by Pinnacle Studios called the Dazzle Capture Card. Alright, uh, what I use is uh, what Pinnacle were making before Dazzle. And I'm not actually sure of its name, but my dad had this laying around so he just gave it to me. And it does the job pretty well. Um, the difference between this and the Dazzle is that Dazzle, in the front here, where you plug in all your cables, has got um, AV input for... Um, audio as well because this one here only has um, video um, it does have audio but it's got headphone audio see if you look here where this cable goes that's a headphone audio thing so the dazzle has proper AV cables to do the trick for it and now come around here and I've got it plugged in here into this splitter um, what the splitter does is I plug the PS3 in over here. That's what these cables over here are. So PS3. And then over here I've got one of these little thing on the bobs, I don't know what you'd call that, but it's like a dual output thing. And um, I have a second set of AV cables here, which you can see. They come around here and then they plug up into there, into the side of my TV. I can't actually get a very good view in there. It's probably a bit dark, but anyway, you get the point. And um so one of these dual outputs here, um, that's for the video, that goes to the TV and that goes to the capture card. So once I've plugged all that in, I just bring the uh, USB output for my capture card over here. And it plugs down there into my computer, which is a tangle of cables at the moment. I really need to do some cleaning up in my room and get out of the way controller. And now I'll show you guys me recording the screen. Sit down here. I've already got it set up. I use Windows Movie Maker just to record. You can get proper programs, but I like to just use Windows Movie Maker. So I've got the capture card there, selected already. PC, TV, etc., etc., etc. I'm not going to bother reading it all out. And now let's go next. 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 Now look at that on my computer screen. That's my. PS3. See? If I zoom out. And now if I look up there, it's the same thing. So there you go. And now I'll show you the uh, quality of it. Alright, would you look at that? Hot diggity damn, I'm recording. And I gotta admit, that's uh, that's not bad quality for that capture card that I have, considering that capture card's probably borderline 8 or so years old. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright guys, uh, I think I'm going to go and find something else to do. Until next time, take care.